Hello friends, this is Rajiv Sharma. The subject matter of today's uh, strategic analysis, today's video editorial is uh, a deep focus on China. Let us check the Chinese checkers. Let us read Chinese tea leaves as far as, as long as it comes to the current China border tensions. For the first time, in three years since Doklam crisis 73 day, three day long 73 days long it lasted the Doklam crisis the current standoff in Ladakh and Sikkim is being witnessed which has forced which has triggered an unprecedented reaction from US President Donald Trump wherein he has proffered his mediation and his uh, arbitration which of course India cannot accept because any third nation mediation in its bilateral affairs with another country is not possible doable with India because if India accepts uh, US mediation in with China then it will be laying a dangerous precedent and it will have to accept a similar precedent, uh, situation on the Kashmir issue with Pakistan. Well, the focus here is, the trigger here is a significant sensational remark from none other than but Chinese President Xi Jinping, wherein he has asked his army, his military to be battle ready and to take care of the nation's sovereignty. Now, this is too dense, too, this is too significant coming from the Chinese president. Why does he, why did he make this statement? I see three reasons. One, I think he's, obvious reason is that he's trying to deflect the world attention on China due to the COVID-19 crisis because 116 nations have supported a transparent global investigation into the origins of coronavirus or COVID-19 pandemic which is known to have emanated from Wuhan, China. Second, it has probably the Chinese president is deflecting, he's addressing his domestic constituency because there are, he's facing a lot of problems within because of uh, his. Uh, the way he has dealt with the COVID-19 crisis, the way he has dealt with Hong Kong, etc. Third, he is sending a strong message to Hong Kong protesters. He is bringing in a new law, new legislation for Hong Kong, which will be under the road uh, uh, for autonomy in Hong Kong as well as the Hong Kong autonomy is concerned. Autonomy will be gone. So he is trying to not only speak tough, not only act tough, but he is trying to be seen as tough. And that is why his tough uh, stance towards Australia, towards New Zealand, over trade issues, towards US, over uh, you know, multiple issues. So, with India, trade is immaterial. In any case, uh, whatever trade is, uh, the balance of uh, trade is in favor of uh, China. So, that doesn't work. The trade doesn't, is not a good enough handle for China. So, here, an effective handle is border dispute. So, that is why China is upping its ante. 
that is one part of this video editorial now part two let me see india like in during the doklam crisis india did not back down similarly india has made it very clear it it has it has not it will not back down and i'm sure no party can sub can hope to be in office in india irrespective of which which color which creed which ideology if it were to subjugate to a foreign country particularly china so the bjp government has no option but to take a bold stand which it has the problem is that this is far worse than doklam doklam was was confined to just one zone a small zone geographically it was confined to a very small number of troops in comparison and contrast here over 5000 chinese troops are there at five points where the five flash points in ladakh and they have ingressed as far as 3 kilometers into the indian indian uh, border so this is something unprecedented now china must understand that it is upping the ante but it is it is it has to prepare itself for post covid times these are the covid times it is already dealing with a vociferous and a highly critical us europe was in its favor now even europe from europe you can see dissenting voices china so far had its telecom prowess to you know to sell to the world now if such diplomatic tensions continue how china can you know huawei and whatever their their uh, 4g 5g their uh, software how they can this, this is this business is worth hundreds of billions of dollars maybe trillion dollars now another point that china the chinese president xi jinping's uh, very brave talk and aggressive talk comes after the chinese defense budget was hiked by 6.6% and raised to 180 billion dollars well over 3 times than india's defense budget these are the points which china must consider well uh, whatever defense budget uh, china has to have uh, india or any other power cannot complain let them have a trillion dollar defense budget who will complain but that's not a question question is that china must realize that it is a de facto superpower and superpowers do not act by knee jerk reactions thank you very much folks would like to have your comments and if you like it do subscribe to my channel